is a game that's easy to play If you smile at a stranger A new romance will start In Port Africa Love is a flower that blooms for a day So remember the danger Or you may lose your heart So if the stars seem brighter at night And if the moon is a gleam Don't go around in a daze Or maybe it's a crazy dream In Port Africa Gotta learn to kiss and to part So beware of the stranger Don't let him break your heart Yo sé que soy Una aventura más para ti que después de esta noche te olvidarás de mí. Be still, my heart. Don't let me say what I shouldn't say. I can tell my resistance is getting low at last. Why do the stars seem brighter tonight? Why is the moon all a gleam? I go round in a day. Is this another crazy dream? Don't leak my heart Don't let me lose you right from the start Till I'm sure that he loves me Oh, please be still, my heart Ah, girl! Come in, come in! The place is yours! No, Nino. The place is yours. <laughs> That's what I've come about. Don't say I'm in trouble with you, Colonel. I've always tried to keep on the right side of the police. I can't think of anything. Anche me beses con la capazione io Te beses feliz con la aurora que llega Muere mi corazón por ti Yo sé que soy una aventura más para ti Que después de esta noche te olvidarás de mí, de mí, de mí, de mí Sí, 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 sí Wonderful artist, Colonel. Yes, but she has no passport. Now, you wouldn't like to lose her on that account, would you, Nino? I didn't know, Colonel. Honest, I didn't know. Oh, one can make allowances for such an artist. But the others, the Berber girls, who act as your hostesses. Don't overdo the smuggling of talent across the border, Nino. We have so much of our own. After all, it's my duty to protect the taxpayers of the city. And your offenses multiply. Mon Colonel, the ship is in the harbor. Drop in any time, Colonel. Always pleased to see you. You know, I'm interested in some of your customers. And that's why you see me here so often. Inez, have you thought any more about what I asked you the other day? Let's talk about it some other time. Huh? All right. I'm not rushing you. I can wait. Thank you, Nina. I'm a rich man, Ines. I can give you everything. Big American car, diamonds, to shine on your skin like little lamps. All you want back is love. It's not as easy as all that, you know. Why not? I've been straight with you, haven't I? I'm willing to marry you if that's the way you want it. Just like I said, we'll have a big wedding in church with all the trimmings. No woman ever had that promise out of Nino before. You're a strange one. You know my tickets bad, don't you? I could drop dead with heart failure right on this spot. Everything I ever go to you, all you could do is say that. Please, Nino, you know, people are watching, please. I took a big risk smuggling you in here, you know that, don't you? No passport, no nothing. But it'll be worth it, I says to myself. Be patient, I says. She'll show her gratitude proper, she please will. Please let me go. I must rest before tonight, please. All right. 
I can be patient. Everything comes to me now, in the end. After those months in hospital. But you'll soon feel well now that you're here again. Major Colonel, congratulations. Oh, 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 oh. Not a real Colonel, Rip. Just an honorary rank. Porter Freak doesn't rate a real Colonel for a Chief of Police. The higher rank will come with senility. <laughs> you didn't tell anyone when I was arriving. No, no, not a soul. But why all this mystery? Why didn't you want George to know? I'll tell you later. How is she, Jack? Wonderful. I saw her last week and she was looking more beautiful than ever. We'll telephone her now and I'll drive you straight home. No, no. <laughs> I've been away a long time, John. I feel almost like an intruder. You an intruder? John? I'd like to talk to you first before I go home. Yeah, of course, Rip. Of course. At my office. Fine. Gracias. <laughs> What a freak hasn't changed very much. Not on the surface, perhaps. But a city isn't just brick and stone. It's people, too. And people change. Haven't you, Rip? A little, I guess. There's Robert. Don't call. It's just that if Robert and Diana are back, they're bound to call. I don't want to risk any visitors on my first night home. Robert did a good job looking after the business while I was away. Half your business is his. That's quite an incentive. Don't tell me you're still playing long distance games with what's his name? Pinet? Yeah? Boy, that was as lonely as an owl up there in Etienne. Wow, that's older than the two of us put together. Christmas present from a grateful citizen three years ago. I thought at the time you'd appreciate it. So I kept telling myself, as long as the bottle remains in that cabinet untouched, Rip will come back. Your health, Rip? Santé. Easy, my friend. This is rare old Armagnac. A drink to gladden your heart, like the first touch of spring in Paris.
Your letters didn't say very much about your injury, Rip. I asked Georgette, but all she knew was they'd taken you to a hospital in Washington. It was your leg, was it? Mm -hmm. Is it still giving you trouble? Mm, not anymore. How did it happen? As luck would have it, I bailed out over a machine gun nest. Had a run for it. Stopped a few machine gun bullets, shattered the bone. Oh, I'm sorry, Rip. It's not too bad. Just blow the knee. But don't worry, we'll do as much hunting as before. And I was getting a little too old for tennis anyway. <laughs> Not myself I'm worried about. It's Georgette. How's she gonna take it? Well, what do you mean, Rip? The leg. The one that chatted. I've had time to get used to it. You're not really worrying about that, are you? I don't know. We've been married a little over a year when I left. Each day it was getting more and more unreal, like a dream you didn't want to let go completely. And then while I was in the hospital, I had time to remember things. What things, Rip? About Georgette. It's not her fault. I know she can't help it. But Georgette was always well a little squeamish and sensitive about sickness or people who hurt themselves. It was as if she couldn't bring herself to have anything to do with it. She didn't even like to touch anyone who was ill. It made her feel sort of unclean. And now? Oh, this is nonsense. She's your wife. A thing like this isn't going to make any difference. You really don't think so? Of course not. I know it won't. If that's all you've been worrying about, then you're crazy. Maybe I am. You've been in hospital too long, my friend. Home. That's what you need? No, thanks. Go home to Georgette, and you'll see that all I've said is true. That's what I've been telling myself, but I just had to hear it from someone else too. So, what am I waiting for? Thanks for the drink, John. I appreciated it. You going home now? That's what you recommend, isn't it? Certainly. But call Georgette first, Rip. Let her know you're here. Okay. I'll do that. Mademoiselle de 74, s'il vous plaît. Well, now for the big surprise. <laughs> No reply? I'll let it ring a moment. Must be out. Well, what else does a man deserve? Comes home without a word of warning? Uh, Rip, uh, why not wait here a while? And then call it again. Mm, no, I think I'll wait for it at home. You can use my car, Rip. Thanks. Thanks a lot. You've certainly taken a load off my mind. This is a one-way street. Pedro Aranda never retreats. No, but you don't have to go to the wrong direction. I'm going to go to the wrong direction. Reculé. De qui à Blas? De la voiture du colonel, reculé. Yes, yes, the coach de Pedro Aranda. Pedro Aranda, Pedro Aranda. Pedro Aranda. Let's settle this peacefully, huh? So you want to fight too, huh? Not exactly, but there's no other way. This senor in. Maybe, why? You don't remember me, Pedro? Pedro Aranda? Pedro Aranda. See, see. You don't mean that skinny little porty kid who used to hang around the airport asking a million questions about planes. <laughs> see, you're not so skinny now, eh, look? Well, I'd have never recognized you with that super-duper cap and those gilt wings. Oh, me, me very hot pilot now. Ah, I imagine. Ah, oh, this is very beautiful. Senor Riordan is back. <laughs> we must have a tooth eating together. Uh, I can't, Pedro. I'm on my way home. Oh, but we must, Senor. I have so much to tell you. 
I'm not my own company. Fly my own plane, any place for money. <laughs> you still want that stuff, eh, Pedro? No, senor, I hate it. But the girls, <gasps> they love it. <laughs> now you come with me for a drink, huh? I'd like to, honest, I can't. Oh, just one little drink, please, senor. Then you and me, we are friends. All right, just one. Gracias. <laughs> you wait for me, please. Yes, monsieur. Hey, driver, you watch my car too, huh? You know, Africa, always somebody wants something to cross over border to get to some place. <laughs> what sort of cargo do you fly? Oh, all kind. Uh, little package, big package, uh, human package. <laughs> like dancing girls to work in the body now. <laughs> Marcel seems to be branching out. I didn't think he was the type. Senor Marcel is dead. Dead? See, si, see, si, Nino is the boss here now. Nino, the, the beachcomb? Oh, he's beachcomb and a more, senor. He's a he's big shot, you know? He's a very good customer of mine. say she's girlfriend to Nino, but for me, I do not believe this. She is dame with too much class, you know? A melody from heaven comes stealing to the forest. A melody from heaven comes floating through the trees. Beside a burning fire, Singing of his desire A love is song inspired With haunting melody The flame seems to remind him Of someone far behind him No other love could blind him And as he sang of true love, within my heart I knew love. That melody from heaven echoed my love for you. He sang of true love within my heart. I knew love. that melody from heaven echoed my love.
get out of my way. I've got to see Mr. Nino. Sorry, he's busy. Didn't I get your papers fixed for you? Didn't I get you past the police? And now you don't want to entertain my customers. You're just plain dishonest. That's what you are. Now then, you get back to work and start entertaining. If you don't keep them happy, they won't spend. Now go on. Go on. I want to see the bus. What do you want? Mr. Redden's back. Rip Red? Is he? Where? Downstairs. Yeah, no. Downstairs. Well, isn't this an honor? Just the fellow I want to see. Mr. Rip Reardon, the warrior has returned. What's this? Ahmed, take away this bottle of distilled varnish. Go up to my room and fetch down one of my bottles of Armagnac. Lock up after you. Nino? I can't believe it. Last time I saw you, He's you were... now very prosperous, huh? <laughs> yes. Well, I managed to rub together the honest penny or two during the late unpleasantness. You know how it is in wartime. A bit of luck. And if you don't mind my saying so, with a bit of brains. <laughs> Of course, I realize I owe all my prosperity to you plucky lads out there fighting for freedom. Good night, Nino. Time I went, Pedro. Happy to see you in my club, Mr. Reardon. Happy to see you back home once more. As a matter of fact, I've been waiting for you to get back. I'm taking a fancy to your plantation. I want to buy it. It's not for sale. Now, wait a bit. I can offer you a top price. Cash on the button. American dollars. Or Swiss francs, if you insist. But I want that place for my business. It's a nice layout up there. I could build my own airport. I could show you how to run the import-export racket proper from there. Forget it, Nino. The plantation's not for sale. What's the matter, Mr. Reardon? Isn't my money good enough for you? Not good enough? But clean enough, Nino. Times have changed, my boy. I'm rich enough to buy out 50 like you. Now, Mr. Nino... You shut up. In Port Afrique, Mr. Reardon, Everyone plays ball with Nino, or else. So don't come round here with that stick playing the mighty hero. You <laughs> lose. just been here, but our deal still stands. There's no backing out now. Well, where's he gone? I don't know, but he's in very unfriendly and belligerent mood. Thank you for driving me home. Oh, well, monsieur. Oh, and thank Colonel Moussak for me. Yes, monsieur. Why shouldn't Rip have notified us that he was back? After all, I'm his partner. Why should I get the news second-hand from Nino? Robert, for goodness sake, calm down. Ever since we've been married, I've been waiting for you to stand up for yourself. And here you are shaking at the very mention of Rip's name. Oh, do stop nagging me. 
What's that? Robert. Something going on at Whip's place. Cars driving up. What does it matter? Perhaps I should go over there. Oh, don't be absurd. It's late and, and you're already undressed. Well, at least I can phone. Go to bed. We'll see him in the morning. <sighs> bed. Do you think I'll be able to sleep? What can I say to Rip in the morning? Welcome home, partner. Your business has gone all to pieces. But you've done Rip a favor. He only gave you half the business to protect Georgette's interests in case he didn't come back. It's all very well for you to talk. You've never seen Rip in a rage. You don't have to take the strain. I do. Don't Turn on me. Turn on you? That's funny. I'm worried, very worried. Oh, I know, darling. There's nothing to be worried about. And you know I'll always help you. You know that. Yes, I know, I know. I'm sorry, dear, and I didn't mean to snap. You're right. You always are. Well, perhaps things will look a bit different in the morning. That's right. I'll go to bed now. It's very late. Now, let's go back to the witnesses. Well, I'll try to remember. Are you sure you didn't hear any noise earlier this evening? It would help if you could establish the exact time. Our room is far. We are asleep early. I see. All right, you can all go to bed now. A great tragedy for the coming home of Monsieur. Uh, about four hours, the doctor says. Well, I would say the time of death is somewhere between nine and ten. Mon Colonel, uh, Mademoiselle Ines has been living here some time now. Perhaps she could tell us something whether Madame Riordan had any special worries. Hmm. I have to ask these questions, you understand. You saw Georgette when you left the house? About what time would that be, Inez? About five o'clock. I left early to go to the years. Yes, yes, I know. You didn't come home after the rehearsal? No, I stayed in my dressing room and rested. But I did talk to Georgette around, I think, it was 7 o'clock. Did she sound depressed or anything? No, not at all. She told me she was going to stay in the house and read. Was she expecting anyone? I don't know. She didn't tell me she was. And what time did you leave Le Badinage? A little before 1. And how did you come in? By the front door? As I always do. I have my own key. And then I saw the light in the living room. Mr. Reardon was sitting there. He hardly seemed aware of me, and when I talked to him, he didn't answer. And then? Well, at first I thought that it was he who... So I called you at once. It's hard to believe she's dead only, only a few hours ago she... Mr. Reardon suffers from a combination of complete exhaustion and, of course, shock. So far as I can make out, he's hardly had any sleep at all during the last few days. And as he's been on his feet all the time, his leg is badly inflamed. Have to keep off that leg for a day or two. Won't be easy if I know Rip. About Mrs. Reardon, I will let you have my full report in the morning. Thank you, Doctor. Au revoir. We have finished now, Mokalene. All right, you can go. I'll stay here with Abdul till they come for her. Au revoir, Mokalene. Inez. You used to be a nurse. Rip's going to need one for the next few days. Would you mind staying for the time being? Of course, sir. Well. Thank you. Go to your room and get some rest. Thank you. Do you ever read Aristotle, Abdul? No, I don't. You should. Every policeman should. He says, among other things, that man shares growth with the plants and perception with the beasts. That man alone has a rational spirit, the soul. Sounds sensible, Uncle Lennon.
What made her open this drawer and take this gun? What happened in his human spirit, Abdul? Was it fear, temporary insanity, a sense of guilt so great that death was preferable? These are questions, Abdul, that perhaps we shall never be able to answer. See the gun, Mon Colonel. Yes, of course. It doesn't fit. The barrel is too long. Incredible. Carpenter's error, perhaps. Slight miscalculation. There is always some miscalculation, even in the most carefully planned murder. Murder? Why do you think it's murder when I say it's suicide, Abdul? The gun. The gun from the collection is missing. Guns just don't walk away. So? The murderer must have got hold of this gun, which is exactly the same as the one in the collection, except that the barrel is too long. Ah, very good, Abdul. But why not use the gun in the collection? Because the guns in the collection aren't loaded. It takes some time to load a gun, and it isn't an easy thing to do it secretly. Find the gun from the collection, and we find the murderer. Excellent, Abdul. But if I report this case to the Governor General as murder, We'll have policemen from the capital all over the place poking into things and frightening everybody into silence. If, on the other hand, my report says it's suicide, then the guilty person is bound to feel safe and, sooner or later, is certain to make a false move. It's sometimes better to wait for people to make their own moves, Abdul. So we'll say nothing about the gun for the moment, you understand? You understand, Abdul? Don't you? Yes, Mon Colonel. Exquisite. Yes, Georgette paused for it. Like a dream, a bad dream. If it's real, then nothing's real anymore. For a moment, I thought you were. Who are you? I've seen you somewhere. You saw me at La Badinage. Oh, yes, the club. Last night, you were singing. <laughs> Not last night, the night before. You slept for 24 hours. You were so tired out, the doctor had to give you a sedative. What are you doing here? Didn't Georgette write to you about me? About you? No. What was she supposed to have written? She asked me to come and stay here with her. Oh, over a year ago. <laughs> Strange she never wrote to you about it. Two sentences was a long letter for Georgia. I know. She didn't like writing letters. But she was always happy when she got one from you. She let me read part of them, and I saw the picture you sent her from Germany, England, and America. Well, you see, we've been getting acquainted over a long time, only you didn't know about it. That's why I recognized you when I first saw you La Patinage, and I was glad that you'd come home. What's your name? Camillo, but you can call me Ines if you like. Anyway. Anyway? In my mind, I've been calling you Rip for a long time. You remind me of a nurse I had in the hospital in America. I was a nurse once. That's why Colonel Mosak asked me to stay here and take care of you. You must have been very young. I was 15, but not very young. Oh, it's almost noon, I bet. Tell me, I want to know, why did she do it? I don't know. You live with her months, saw her every day, she why? She didn't tell me everything. Two women alone? You can live with a person for years and not know what goes on in her mind. Robert and Diane said they might come over this evening if you were well enough. You seem to know everybody, don't you? And yet you know nothing. Well, 
chief of police himself. How goes it, Vermez? I work, I live, I even eat sometimes. Mm. Lovely. But you better tell her to go for a walk. I want to talk to you. Alone. You don't have to worry about her. She only speaks some native dialect. No, it's still all the same. I need you better tell her to go. As you wish. Maria. Maria. Tell me, friends. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you something. When did you last see Georgette? Georgette? I heard the news. It was tragic, wasn't it? Why did she do it? Well, we don't know yet. When did you last see her? About six months ago. Six months ago? Strange, isn't it? You used to be such good friends. She posed for me once or twice, yes. I carved her in wood. You've probably seen it up at Riordan's place. Ah, yeah. Mon colonel. This is a model for it. Yes, but look. It's different. That's right. The statue of the house isn't finished. Why don't you finish it, friends? Georgette got tired all of a sudden. Tired of what? Posing? No. She got tired of me, if you must have the truth. Just what do you mean by that, friends? You knew her longer than I did. You know what she was like. Mm. What was she like? Anything new, anything strange attracted her. For a time, she made you feel right on top of the world until she got to know you, and then she lost interest. And that already passed on to the next one. Mm. Uh, you're slipping, friends. So she passed you up for somebody else. Who was that? Do you know? No, I don't. She could be very discreet if she wanted to be. Just as she could be exactly the other way if... Yeah, thank you, friends. It'll be all for now. I'll talk to you later. Tell me, Abdul. Do you believe his story? Yes, I do, Mon Colonel. Did you know about this... gossip? Well... One hears things. Perhaps you even know the identity of the man who succeeded France. No, I don't, but he should not be difficult to find. No, we'll find him, Abdul, at the proper time. But for the present, we wait. You still do not agree with me, do you, Abdul? I have a wife and child, and another one on the way. But you know, all this has been a great shock to Mr. Real. You realize that, don't you? If he were to hear any of this talk about his wife in his present state of mind... Yes, but he will anyway, sooner or later. Well, I would prefer it to be later. Now do you understand? Yes, mon colonel. Because you have a wife and child, and another one on the way? That's right. Whatever your reasons, you'll obey my instructions. And say nothing about this to anyone. You understand? Yes, mon colonel. Yes. Well, let's sit out here. There's more air. Conditions got worse and worse after you left. No, for the business. Uh, uh, where are the ladies? Are they coming now? Well, naturally, I made economies, stopped the sawmill, and stored that new American bandsaw. Mr. Brown, please. There's coffee and brandy if you want. Just brandy for me, please. Coffee for me. Well, as I was saying, Rip, I made economies, cut all the expenses, everything. I don't think Rip's interested in the plantation, are you? He only came over to say how sorry he was. Thanks, I know. Why shouldn't he be interested? His whole life and future are vested in the plantation. Forget the plantation, John. I shouldn't if I were you. Not for too long. Meaning? Ask your partner. He knows what I mean. Oh, now, look, Harry. Was... I'm not saying that Robert went through what you did, Rip, but he, he did his duty by you. He kept the plantation going day after day, almost single-handed. And he was sick. Hey, well, I'm not over there yet. Robert, for pity's sake, put your hand out. Didn't Georgette tell you? Didn't she write? Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Rip. Please forgive me. Look, have you all gone crazy? I don't care about economies, bandsaws, or anything else. 
Have you forgotten Georgette was lying in that room just a short while ago? Easy, Rip. Easy? Georgette's suicide, I don't believe it. Somebody's lying, I can feel it. Rip, sit down. Be logical. I have all the evidence in my office. You of all of them, why should you lie to me? Well, we do our best. Only God knows the truth. I know the truth. Look around. Is this the house of a woman who commits suicide? Well, look at it. Does it make sense? Music, flowers, bright colors in every room. Well, what is this? A conspiracy of silence? What I intend to find out is who killed her. Good afternoon, Mr. Riyadh. Where's Colonel Musa? Away, on some business. Thank you. Take the rest. Oh, no, please. I have plenty more at home. Thank you. How much is it worth you to let me see Musak's file on my wife's case? You don't believe the suicide report? See how easy it is to get burnt? You won't get burned. I'll take all the responsibility. This is a lot of money, monsieur. Please, take it away. I have a growing family. I have a big weakness for money. It's all yours. I just want to see the dossier. Why do you want to live that over again? A man can make himself sick inside. No sicker than I am now. How would you feel in my place? Probably same as you, but please, take it away. Any other time, I would be glad to take it, but not now. It is necessary. I'm sorry. Mr. Reardon, the ignition key is on the dashboard, and the office keys on the same chain. It really wasn't necessary. If I didn't think you should see the dossier, no one in the world would make me do it. I know. The circumstances of the death and investigation I have conducted make it reasonably certain that it's a case of suicide. Suicide? William Benson, known locally as Mr. Nino, visited the deceased several times during the past weeks. Nino. 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 You looking for somebody? Nino, where is he? Mr. Nino's very busy. Open the door, Nino. How did you get in here? The place isn't open yet. Through the side door, the one that used to be the hotel door. Yes, well, I don't let rooms to transients no more. 
I got some business with you, Nino. Okay, Griller. You stay here. I'll shout if I want you. Well, Mr. Ian, if you come here to say anything, you better say it quick. I heard you were in the habit of visiting my wife a lot lately, Nino. Why? What was it about? Business. I want to buy your plantation. I've got a partner. Why did you go to him? It's all or nothing with me, Reardon. I want to buy your share, too. Are you trying to tell me Robert's willing to sell his? No, wait a minute. I didn't say that, did I? Don't go putting words into my mouth. Nino, when's the last time you saw my wife? Was it the night she was found shot? Who do you think you are, Reardon? The chief of police? He's been here already asking questions, and he found my answers quite satisfactory. I don't mind telling you, he's a friend of mine. And if you come here... Take a good look at that gun, Nino. Did you ever see it before? Don't you point that at me. Clear! The one that killed Georgette. Don't be scared. It's not loaded. But this one is. You want to be careful, you know. You broke in here. The last time we met you threw me on the floor. You want to hurt me. Well, nobody hurts Nino no more. I'm on the hurting end now. You could be shot in self-defense. It's not the first time you assaulted me. And it won't be the last if I find out you're lying. Musak may be satisfied, but I'm not. about last night, Inez? This wild idea of it, that someone killed Georgette. I don't know what to think. But it was suicide. Everyone, even Mossack, says so. Did he? I thought he said only God knows the truth. What other truth can there be? What can Rip hope to find out when the police have investigated everything? Oh, poor Rip. What a different homecoming for the one we planned for him. Inez, I know Rip better than you do. What he can be like when an idea like this gets hold of him, he won't leave it alone. He'll go on worrying at it. Even if he knows it can't get him anywhere, in his present state, it could break him up completely. You may be right, but there's nothing we can do about it. Yes, there is, Inez. You mustn't leave him alone too much. You mustn't let him brood. You must keep his mind off what's happened. I must. Well, we all must, but it should be easier for you. <laughs> Why? Well, after all, you are living with him, aren't you? I mean, here in the same house. Yes, that's right. And you're the girl who could make him forget a lot of things, Inez. Thank you. So I have your blessings. You think you can give me away? Well, you're wrong, my dear. Very wrong. Well, I certainly didn't expect you to take it like this. A lot of people would say it was a wonderful opportunity for a girl like you. What do you know about girls like me? I'm not what you think I am. It seems to me that a lot of people are more anxious to hush this thing George up... Georgette and I were better friends than you think. She told me she'd begun to dislike you. She was going to kick you out, wasn't she? What are you trying to say? Are if you... Georgette was shot, it must have been by somebody who knew her pretty well, somebody she trusted. The position of the body, the, the peaceful expression on the face, the lack of surprise all proved that. And you lived in this house for months. If anyone wanted to make this a murder investigation, they might easily start with you. But all that applies to you and Robert just as much as me. Oh, no, it doesn't. Robert and I spent that evening together, and Moussak knows that. Does he also know about Robert's mysterious visits to La Badinage, does he? His business with Nino? Yes, he does. <sighs> business with Nino, please don't make me laugh. You little... Get out. Go back to your husband. He's the one you ought to worry about, not Rip.
What are you shooting at? Why are you looking at me like this? You weren't out here a few minutes ago, were you? No, I was in my room getting ready to go to work. Tell me one thing. Can you fire a rifle? Yes, uh, a good shot. Why do you ask that? A bullet came from the garden, hit the wall. My head was there. I fired back. I hit someone. I found some blood in the ground. Do you think that I tried to? Oh, Rip, you couldn't have. I don't know what to think. I... Well, I didn't. If I did, I wouldn't have missed. Inez. Do you think I'm going to stay here now? No, I suppose not. Well, I'm only here because Musak asked me to stay for a few days and look after you. Well, I failed in that mission. You see, it's not always easy for a girl who's singing in a nightclub. People think, I don't know, that you're different. Well, I'm not. I'm just like anybody else. All I want is a little happiness. And I thought I found it here. It was as if after ten years of running, I didn't have to run anymore. I want you to stay, Inez. I'm sorry. I know that's not enough. But I've been in a fog. I, things have been happening all around me, yet I haven't seen anything clearly. Please. Huh? There's nothing like a good stiff drink when you're angry or shot at. I don't drink. No? Try it. Sure it burns. But it also burns out some of the anger and pain, too. You think you're made of iron. Why don't you stop driving yourself and let the dead rest? You mean forget your jet? No, but, but remember her as a human being with good and bad, like everyone else. Good and bad? Yes. She was very good, and she could be very kind. You see, when she saw me in trouble, she asked me to come and stay here with her. But the bad, what about that? A few weeks ago, she changed. She suddenly became a different person. When was that? When you wrote to her that you were coming out of the hospital. I don't understand that. She, she just changed suddenly when she heard I was coming home? Yes, she, she became moody and irritable. As a matter of fact, we had a quarrel for no good reason, and. She told me to leave the house and find some place else to live. Inez, tell me the truth. Was it suicide? Yes, I believe it was. What are you doing with that gun? The gun Georgette used. I know. How do you know? It was in that drawer. Put it away. It belongs to the past. It'll take time, Inez. Are you going to the badinage now? I must go. It's late. You're a wonderful girl, Inez. It rained last night. Mm -hmm. But the rain is over. Oh, it looks like a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. I've been thinking over what you said last night. You know, about the past and putting it away, shutting it up in a drawer. Well, I've decided to try it. Musak's right. What I need is to get back to work. Back in the interior, there are millions of feet of hardwood just waiting for the Reed and Development Company. I located it some years ago. Oh, it sounds wonderful. Yeah. First out the bank, then some clothes and gear, and I'm on my way. How would you like to go on a safari? Me? I can't go without my nurse. I'm liable to have a relapse. Are you serious? Yes, I am. You'll need a new outfit. You're so tiny, it won't take very much. You've never noticed me before, have you? Maybe not. Come on, let's go. Can the rear Doom Development Company wait till I go and get my coat? Okay. Don't take too long. I'm on the threshold of a wonderful future.
Can I pick? Nothing. Let's go to the bed. Ever see that necklace of Georgette's? The diamond one. Yes, the diamond necklace. What happened? Can't you guess? Oh, Rip, don't tell me it's gone. How can it be? When did you last see it? Georgette bore it at a party, her last birthday party. But when she brought it back, I knew I was with her. Then, what happened to it? How should I know? You know a lot more than you've been telling me, Inez. Believe what you think. Believe I stole the necklace and shot at you and killed Georgette. I'm tired of all this. I told you last night I failed in my mission and you stopped me from going. You couldn't stop me this time. Mademoiselle Camillo, sir. Show me. Ah, oh, hello, Inez. Colonel Mossack, you must help me. I want to leave Port Afrique. The sooner the better. But I need papers. Want to leave Port Afrique? Why the suddenness, Inez? Why, what's happened? Oh, last night I had a big fight with Diane and this morning with Rip. Georgette's necklace is missing. Is this why you want to leave? They think I stole it. I had enough of all this. I can't stand it any longer. Rip will destroy all of us. Please, I want to go. I'm disappointed in you, Inez. I certainly didn't expect you to give in so easily. Easily? Do you think it's easy for me to do this? Until this morning, I wanted to help him. I wanted to understand because, I don't know, I felt like I knew Rip from the first time I saw him. But now it's poisoned with suspicion. He's a man determined to kill himself without knowing me. You know this, and yet you're running away. If I stay, he would kill me too. If he suspects you of anything, is this the time to leave? Go back to him, Inez. No. I can't go back to him now. I can't. And if I don't give you the papers? But you promised them to me. You can't refuse them to me now. You told me that if I needed... And if I don't give you the papers? Nino has a room for me. Nino has a room for you. A room with two keys, Inez? I will never ask you for anything again. Never! Rip is coming this way. I can't face him now. You tell the door. Guns, not for my collection. No, I know it isn't. You knew? This makes it murder. Maybe. Maybe. You're a lousy cop, my friend, playing your little game of long distance chess or reading some gloomy philosopher. You've got a murder case in your hands, you don't even know it. Supposing I told you I was shot at last night. Last night? What time? About 10 o'clock, as I was walking home, you can dig the bullets out of the terrace wall. They missed me by a whisper. I fired back and they disappeared in the bushes. You think you hit him? I know I did. You were alone? Yes. Inez was inside the house. And if you want the rest, I was attacked by a couple of Arab thugs earlier in the evening. Come with me, Rick. Why didn't you report this to me before, Rip? Because I didn't trust you. You haven't been telling me the truth, Jock. But I know what I'm doing, Rip. I'm not so sure that you do. Ahmed? Why not? Because if you don't stop running around like this, you're liable to hurt someone or get hurt yourself. Then I can't protect you either way. Are you sure it's me you're trying to protect? Leonard? Mr. 
was one of the men who attacked you? Yes. Are you sure? Positive. Okay. How did you find him? Unconscious. Two of my men picked him up. There were witnesses who saw him and another Arab attacking a European. Though I didn't know it was you. So I held on to him. Who is he? Abdul has recognized him as a small-time cutthroat from a slum area in the Kasbah. But more than that, we don't know. He won't talk, so he stays there till he does. Who hired him? That's what I want to know. Somebody who's very anxious to get rid of your rip. Obviously. And I've got a pretty good idea who that is. Who? Inez? Why do you think that? Because the necklace is missing? You know about that too, do you? No, uh, the necklace is nothing. It may even turn up again. It's gone. I went straight from the bank to the house, turned the whole place upside down, not a trace. Entrez. Radio message from Etienne, mon colonel. Ah. Queen's Bishop Paul to Queen's Bishop Paul. It's, it's all just a chess game to you, isn't it? What is it? Everything. Robert, Diane, Inez, Nino, me, some obscure sculptor who carved for Georgette. I see you've studied my report with great thoroughness, Rip. We're all just chess pieces. You get a kick and I'm moving around. Well, from now on, I make my own moves. You used to be a good man, Rip, but now you're weary me. I weary you! You used to have a sense of proportion, some balance, but now you shout, you push, you blunder. I, I just want to get to the bottom You parliament. think strength is better than wisdom, but your violence is no target. And so you turn it on your friend. Now, you wait a minute. No, I've had enough! I'm the authority here! Not you! Rip. I want you to go home and stay away from here. And do absolutely nothing without asking me. But first, I want you to go and see Inez. Inez? Yes. You know where to find her? She's at Nino's, living there. Nino's personal guest. You drove her there, Rip. Do you think that's something for you to be proud of? I drove her there. Inez had nothing whatever to do with Georgette's death, Rip. I give him a word for that. Then why has she been so evasive? I've questioned her, she's... I ask the questions, Rip. Nino's is no place for a girl like that. Go back and see her, Rip, please. Ask if she'll go back with you. I don't think she will. You'd be lucky if she does. But ask her. One day you'll thank me for giving you this advice. All right, I'll go. Leave the gun, Rip. It's ours. His. And then it'll be our move. Checkmate. But soon. Listen to this newest information I've just received, Abdul. Georgette's necklace is missing. Rip was attacked by two Arabs. One hour later, at 10 o'clock, someone tried to shoot him. He fired back and says he hit someone. Oh, Colonel. Perhaps this is the false move you have been waiting for. Bring me the file, Abdul. Is it up to date? Yes, I saw to it myself. The movements of all our suspects are reported here up to 10 o'clock this morning. Excellent. Now, let's take the shooting incident first. 10 o'clock, Rip said it was. Now, what were they doing at that time, Abdul? Franz Vermeer, the sculptor, for instance. Vermeer uh, left the studio at 8, went to the house of Madame Simone, where he remained. I'm afraid he was still there this morning, mon colonel. Well, that clears him. Well, my dear friends, if you knew how you were being watched. Now, Nino. Nino, he was in his place all night. And Robert Blackton? Well, that we don't know. 
He left his house a little before 10 and returned after midnight. And Diane Blackton? That we don't know either. She was also seen to go out a little before 10. With Robert? Uh, no, after him. Sir, it narrows down to these two, Robert and Diane Blackton. One of them could have fired that shot, unless... Wait uh, a moment. What about Inez? You know, Rip said she was inside the house, and the shot came from outside. We must constantly keep our fingers on the pulse of the city, so that we know exactly what is going on everywhere. Any unusual incident, no matter how trivial, may assume great importance. This police report from the Casbah, for instance. Read it, Abdul. Read it aloud. Accident in a Casbah between truck and Grey Nash. Truck was responsible, stopped to exchange particulars, but Nash drove on, unidentified. Well, Abdul. It could be that the driver of the Grey Nash, whoever it was, wanted to conceal the fact that he was ever in the Casbah. Now, the Blacktons have a Grey Nash, and the Arab we have here, the one who attacked Rip, also comes from the Casbah. No coincidence, you might say. But that's why this report interested me. It's not checkmate yet, Abdul, but it's our move. We're going to call on the Blacktons. Yes, but what about the missing necklace? What about that? I don't know, Abdul. It may not have anything to do with the case, but well, it may fit in later. You'll soon see. That's not all. I bought Blackton out at last. You see before you Mr. Reardon's new associate and partner. I'll take that back now, partner. Here, give me that. It's mine. Legal. Griller! Griller! Griller can't help you now. He's in the next room asleep. Where did you get a tar? Blackton! Robert Blackton! I'm going to show you the receipt. Settle first. You give that gypsy temper of yours a nice cold shower. We'll talk some more when I come back. Mon Colonel, this gardener is the only servant left. All the others have been paid off. That means the Blackens have gone for good. Do you know where they went? They did not tell me. When did they leave? About two hours ago. I think I know which way they'll go. Come on. They've got two hours time. Hi, Rip. Where are you going? To get Robert. They've gone. Down where? Up the Melton Road, I expect, making for the border. Rip! Rip, where are you going? Listen to me, don't be a fool. Stay here. Leave this thing to me. Ah, crazy devil. We'll have to reach the Blacktons before he does, or else there'll be more shooting. Don't worry, we find them, senor. 
gully down there. It's very small field, senor. I thought you could land in a 50 centime piece. Very hot pilot, senor. Well, when trees are more small, senor. in bed, Pedro. Oh, don't say that, senor. It's my ambition to die in bed. Shot by a jealous husband. <laughs> oh, it was close, senor. Look at this. Think you can fix it? Sure, but it'll take time. You stay with the plane like it back. Okay, senor. Please, darling, I really do feel the need of it. Please. Don't be cross with me. This foul country. Something venomous about it. Makes everyone venomous, too. 
will be different when we get home, I promise you. Oh, home, I can hardly wait to get there. Nice, cosy little flat. Fire burning in the grate. Those lovely, damp, chilly autumn days. What was that? Oh, relax, darling, we're quite... Start breaking camp now, we're going back. I'm not going back. You can't make me. It's not a crime selling your own share in a business? No, Diane, that isn't. But murder is. Murder? What are you talking about? What'd you do with George's necklace, Robert? I don't know what you're talking about. It's probably in the bank, where she always kept it. It's not in the bank and you know it. You sold it to Nino, didn't you? No, no, I didn't, Rip. If Nino said that, he was lying. I had nothing to do with that necklace. Nino wasn't lying this time. You stole Georgette's necklace when she found out you killed her. You're not going to take him back. I won't let you. Out of this, Diane. I don't want to hurt you. But I mean to see this thing through. You can come back with me or settle it here. The choice is yours. Either way, you face a judge, jury, and execution. Rip! Put that gun down. Let's keep out of this. Can he just kill and be allowed to forget it? It wasn't Robert. It was Diane. Let me have that rip. Every killer makes at least one mistake, Diane. Your mistake was leaving a gun, which didn't fit the drawer of Rip's collection. That told me it was murder, not suicide. And then you made the false move I'd been waiting for. You were one of the few people who knew that Rip wanted the case reopened. And so you tried to kill him too. You hired the Arabs, and when that failed, you shot at him in the dark. I knew it couldn't be Robert, I know his performance with a gun, but you, Diane, you're a very neat shot. In fact, I've seen the trophies in your house. And Rip isn't a bad shot either, is he? You killed her. Gun from my collection. She was a tramp, your wife. Put that gun down, Diane. Having Robert here for herself, that wasn't enough. Oh, no. She had to take him away. She gave him the necklace, gave it him to sell because they had to have money. He was leaving me, and she was leaving you an empty house to return to. Diane. You blind fool. She was no saint, your little Georgette. I don't know who the first was, or the second, or the third, but I know about the sculptor and then Robert. Put that gun away, Diane. More killing will solve nothing. She laughed at me. Yes, she said, Robert had told me the truth. They were going away. What was I going to do? Well, give me the gun, we Diane. We talked about it quite calmly at first. I, I implored her not to take Diane. Robert away. And she laughed at me. That was her answer. She laughed and went back to the book she was reading. She'd broken my life and she laughed about it. I... <laughs> She's the guilty one. She's broken all out. Oh, la, la. You know all along about this. Ah. What could I say? It could only start trouble for you. How do I know it's true? Do you think I'd be telling you now if it wasn't? Georgette and Robert used to meet at Nino's place. Inez was only a house guest for the sake of appearances. Georgette didn't want to go on living alone. Inez? She knew? Yep. She knew. Et d'habitude, il y a du feu, mais tout est différent ce soir. Elle n'entend plus que la nuit. Mets-toi bien contre mon épaule C'est ton cœur qui bat près du mien Ce sont tes mains-là qui me frôlent Oh mon amour, comment est bien Every time that you smile I could kiss you For your smile makes the sunshine appear Every time that you laugh I could kiss you At the sound of your voice in my heart I rejoice Every time that you smile 
why I could kiss you. I could cheer you in so many ways. And lucky I would be if you gave your love to me. Tu ne peux pas te figurer comme je t'aime. I could cheer you in so many ways And lucky I would be If you gave your love to me Tu ne peux pas te figurer Comme je t'aime Robert. Yes. It wasn't Robin. It was Diane. Diane? She killed Georgette. Diane found out that Robert was about to leave her. So you know now? All of it. Now I know why I didn't want to talk about her. I just didn't want you to get hurt anymore. The past is really put in that drawer now. And I've locked it. The war is truly over, Chica. It is late, Abdul. We still have our report to write. A report to the Governor General. This time I'll be able to tell him the truth. That it was murder, not suicide. <laughs>